Okay, here we are. It's July the 9th, 2016. It's been these things have been running for eight years. Uh, here's the little plug I put in the side right here to drain the water out. I take that out in the winter time. And these caps I replace right here. I screw these caps on. That's what shuts them off in the winter time. In the summertime now, I leave it running all the time. Uh, these valves right here are the ones that the water sits on top of them here in the winter time because you can't drain it all out of the whole system. And uh, that water will break that valve. And Home Depot just changed the price to $20. They just doubled it. But here, I'm going to show you how I did this. Okay, here's the bottom of one of these valves. Okay, you can see the lead weights in here. There's not very good lighting out here. You can see the lead weights. That's a half inch stainless steel valve stem hanging on the bottom. It goes through the valve. And I have a, there's a piece of plastic underneath that stainless steel washer that keeps it from beating it up. And I also had to take and put a steel bushing right here underneath. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's a steel bushing there that that valve stem runs in because if you don't put that in there, it beats out the uh, brass in there and it starts uh, hitting really weird and it just causes lots of problems. So we have the plastic washer right here to take the impact when this drops back down. And there's uh, you know, the rubber washer that goes around the valve stem. I'm gonna screw this on here and I also did the, a modification on the valve stem. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a square spot right there. That's so I can put a wrench on it so I can take that top nut off. I wish I would have made the threads on the top a little bit longer so I could put a lock nut on top of it so I could, uh, wouldn't have to tighten that down all the way so I could be more precise on my adjustment. That's right here. I wish I would have made that this threaded part about just enough a little bit longer to put another nut on there. Would have been just right. Okay, we'll screw this on there. My dog has a thing about attacking the water here. I don't know what it's all about. Okay. And then I take and I screw this on if I can keep from getting water all over the place. This is how I shut them off and on in the winter. These were check valves that I put in there, but I took the check out of there because I used to screw this cap off of here in the winter time and poke my finger up into there to open up the valve to drain the water off the top of this. But there, you can't always get all the water, so it turned out a, much, a lot easier to put one screw in right here. This one over here has a net right there, and that's to drain the water off the top of that in the winter time. Okay, now to get them going, I'm just gonna close one off here. Okay, that'll get that one going. Hey, dog, get out of the way. Dog, knock it off. But that pressure tank's been working good. I changed the line to all steel. We'll walk over here. Since I went to the steel drive lines, it caused some type of a weird problem. The valve would shut down. And this is all steel now. The whole thing. And where the water, where it comes back, this is a, a faucet I use to drain this line out in the winter time. I open this faucet up right here and it drains the water out of this line and the whole line going up. And this valve right here is the one I put in there and I keep it closed just enough to create a little bit of back pressure 
because for some reason when I switched over to steel, uh, the pumps would just, one of them would just stop, just unexplained. It'd run for a day sometimes and then quit sometimes three days, but other than that it would just quit. But I don't run those funny little stainless caps on top anymore either. But that's this whole system now, eight years later. Uh, it's been worked out We're really great. It keeps my whole place alive. Thanks a lot for watching.